Hi, this is Dr. Dee Pasquale. And have you ever wondered why celebrities are starting to look so strange? Well, usually it's because celebrities tend to get very overdone when it comes to either filler or Botox. And what they wind up looking like is frozen caricatures of themselves where their forehead doesn't move, their lines between their eyebrows, they don't have any movement there, and their cheeks are excessively plumped and so are their lips. So they start to look really, really strange. And what happens as a result of this, because celebrities tend to set our standard for beauty, is the general population starts to get very worried about procedures such as fillers or Botox because they think that that is how everything turns out looking. Now my assumption as to why this happens is is because I think there's a disconnect between the mindset of the celebrity and probably their doctor. So celebrities have this intention of being perfect after all they make a lot of money for you know what they do on TV movies etc and typically I think what happens in that situation is the celebrity sees the doctor and they are you know really striving for perfection and that doctor probably doesn't stop them and say to them something like listen you've had enough if we go further it's gonna look really really unnatural now that's what I feel I do differently in my medical spa because patients come to me wanting to look natural. They don't want to look like somebody else. They want to look like themselves but better. So we take an approach of less is more. I'd rather inject less filler and have somebody come back for more than overdo it and having to worry and have to worry about things looking unnatural. Now, when things, when things become so unnatural, people can usually tell that you've had something done. And my goal in my medical spa is to not have anybody ever ask my patient, what did you have done? On the contrary, most of my patients will get asked something like, have you been on vacation? Oh, is your makeup different? Is your hair different? What's going on? You just look great. So the bottom line is I want it to be that people are guessing why you look younger, but they have no idea why. I don't want it to be obvious that your cheeks are over plumped and your lips are overdone and you've had something done. That is not the look that we're going for. So my recommendation to anybody who's interested in getting Botox or filler, whether it be with me or anybody else, is number one, really speak with your physician, physician assistant, nurse practitioner, whoever is injecting you about what they envision and what their intentions are and make it clear what you want out of the procedure. Number two, take a look at the person who's injecting you because chances are if they're, you know, either, um, overdone themselves, that's kind of what they like to create. If they look more natural, that's more in line with what they're going to want to create on somebody else. Or the other option is that some people don't take care of themselves at all and maybe look a little older than they should. And that to me would be a concern with somebody injecting me. So I hope that these tips are gonna be helpful to you guys uh, about helping maybe dispel some of those myths about fillers and Botox because it can be done well and done naturally and we shouldn't really use the celebrities to set the standards for us. I hope this was helpful to you and if it was, please like and share so that others can benefit and thanks so much for watching.